hi friends welcome to my channel and this is Citrix certification video training and this is the third video of this series and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Citrix Zen Server 7.1.0 step by step so Zen Server is a basically a hypervisor which is provided by Citrix as as we have a Hyper-V from Microsoft and ESXi from VMware so uh, Zen Server is providing us platform to run virtual machine on it so what we have let's have an idea some idea about uh, a demo and hands-on setup so we have a, a, a four virtual machine in in this video so first two virtual machine we have used in last two videos so the first one is win 2k12 dc01 which is my active directory domain server here you can see my, my uh, Active Directory DNS and DHCP is installed on this server. If you go to local server, you can verify the name Win2K12 DC01 and my domain name is VictorInfoSoul.com. So, and the second machine is Citrix DC1, which is my delivery controller for Citrix Zen server, uh, Citrix Zen app and Zen desktop. And in last video, we have installed the Citrix, uh, Citrix uh, Zen desktop on this machine you can see I have logged into Citrix studio and you can see the Citrix studio and store front here I do I don't have configured anything on Citrix studio right now well will be uh, doing the configuration in next few next videos. so here you can see the machine name is Citrix DC01 and my domain name so and the third machine is Zen server 01 which is my Zen server? I have installed a uh, Zen server 7.1.0 on this machine, and this machine is configured in the same way. I'm going to install Zen server 2 server. So here you can see I have created the blank machine uh, for Zen server 2, and I have assigned 6 GB RAM to this server. And you can see virtualization Intel VT technology and virtualization technology enable. If if you are doing um, uh, like installing the Zen server on a physical machine, you must uh, uh, take care about the Intel VT technology in enabled in your machine. So let's mount the installation media for Zen server on a DVD drive. Then we can initiate the installation. So go to ISO, and here we have a Citrix setup and you can see zen server 7.1.0 install cd open a cd and click ok now we can go ahead and power on this machine so now citrix zen server to install or upgrade or press enter so i'm going to press enter now it's booting the kernel it will take some time to give you the installation screen for the server can see it's uh, like uh, counting the RAM and you CPU cores everything so Zen server is basically using Linux at the back back end and now it's trying to unpack the root file system image So here we have select a key map. I'm going to use a US only. Click enter. So welcome to Zen Server installation. And here we have a click OK to start the installation. So so end user license agreement. I accept Shula. now we have you can see we have 100 GB uh, hard drive attached with this uh, machine so you can see the virtual machine storage setup we have only 100 GB disk here you can see so it's asking us to set up the virtual machine storage so when we deploy the virtual machine where it's going to be stored so 
which which disk you would like to use for virtual machine storage so I'm going to use the same disk so enable the thin provisioning optimization and click OK and now we have the select installation source so I'm going to install from local in, local installation media which is CD in my case so click OK searching for repository so I don't want to uh, test the my installation media if you want to test the installation media like CD or DVD you have mounted to the your physical server so you can go ahead and check the installation media is correct or not or if there any file is missing or not so I don't want to skip so now we have to set the root password here for Citrix Zen server so I have put it my credential click OK and now we have a networking I want to configure the static IP address here 192.168.1.242 and my subnet mask for this IP so defaults class C subnet mask click OK and here we have to put the host name which is in my case then server 02 and the my DNS server is my Active Directory server which is 192.168.1.254 click OK and here we have to select the time zone Asia and and Kolkata I'm going to select now click OK and system time I want to set manually so click OK so now we are good to go and here you can see we have collected all the information required to install a Zen server please confirm you wish to proceed with the installation all data will be just will be destroyed so I have no issues with destroying data so click install Zen server and now you can see the installation is triggered by the setup and preparing for the installations so all installation of Zen server will take 10 to 15 minutes but it's also depend on the computer or machine speed or server speed on which you are installing the Zen server so in my in my case it will take 15 to around 15 minutes to get the installation done so here we are preparing for installation and now you can see the installation is going forward installing from Zen server so the installation is almost 45 percent completed And meanwhile, while the installation is running, we need to create a one DNS A host record for our Zen Server 2, which we are installing. So for that, we have to go to our Active Directory server and launch the DNS management tool. Here, here, here we have a DNS manager. You can see I have created a host record for Zen Server 1, and same I, I want to create for Zen Server 2. So put here Zen server 02 the name of server and the IP address which is being used for the server and my case it's 192.168.1.4242 and add host and now you can see we are done with it so we have created the static host record for Zen server 02 and the PTR record also you can see here it's created so same as we have created for our Zen server one if you go here now you can try to ping the servers put here ping Zen server 01 you can see the Zen server one is getting resolved by our DNS server and also ping is coming so if you go to ping the two you can see the DNS is resolving the host name but it's not replying destination host unreachable because our Zen server is still being installing so 
it's almost 90 percent completed it will it will take around four to five minutes more to get the installation completed so just be patient here so now you, you would like to install any supplement we have a separate video for this so for now i don't want to install any supplements click no and now it's completing the installations so now it's time to set up the time manually which we have decided so click ok now our installation is almost completed so the Zen server installation has completed and now we have to click OK to reboot the servers so go ahead and click OK so now it's rebooting the server so it's loading the Zen server in memory now you can see So here we have, you can check the things here. The network management and interface, the status display. So it's configuration, status display, uh, display. You can see the VMware in COM because this is a virtual machine which is running on VMware. So in, in real platform you can see your server model and the server physical server detail here and uh, following that the Zen server version and management network parameter is given here so just information you can find from here so if you go now and do the ping you can see the uh, server is now responding to a, its IP address which is two uh, 242 so this is all about installing the Zen server 7.1.0 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye